Okay, we're ready to start turn number eight of the Legend of Drizzt board game, adventure number two. Drizzt is all the way down to one hit point, so there's a really high chance that he's going to go down in this turn. But let's see what we can get done between now. And you know what, I forgot that uh, Drizzt had that stance token on there. Um, I don't feel like it would be an issue to take one point away because I don't it doesn't change anything that happened otherwise but I just I don't like doing that so I'm not going to I'll just say I forgot to remove it and that's just the way it went all right so Drizzt is going to let me think couple things we can do. One thing I might I might just go ahead and throw that flask of oil. I think I will. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that flask of oil on the goblin archer that's one tile away. I'd just like to get that thing out of here so that the only thing we have is is uh, Artemis. It's a good chance I'm going to miss this though. But the goblin archer only has a 12 so I just need to get an 8 or better. So I'm gonna throw the flask of oil at the goblin archer that's on the other tile. So 8 or better. 12. Perfect. Awesome. All right, so Drizzt takes the flask of oil, like a Molotov cocktail or something like that, throws it, and the goblin archer goes up in smoke. Goblin archer goes down. Wait, that's in the wrong spot. That goes here. Goblin archer goes down, so we can actually cancel an encounter now. So we don't have to worry about the goblin archer anymore. Um, actually, I forgot. You know what? That can't happen. Drizzt is poisoned. Drizzt... Okay, so let me do it this way. Drizzt died at the start of his turn, technically, because he's poisoned. So Drizzt went down, but he used his surge to come back. He comes back with five. Um, I'm a, I don't know if the poison sticks with him after death, but we'll just assume it does. So, 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 then, so then that happened. Then he threw the flask of oil. So I did things that slightly out of sequence there, but... The net effect is identical. Um, so, it, technically, we did use a surge token this turn, and Drizzt attacked. He did kill, so he gets another treasure. And he gets... Choose one hero that either... Choose one hero that hero either gains... Regains one hit point or ends one condition. Um, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say Driz just immediately ends this because there's a chance that we'll we'll not roll it. We won't roll well, and he'll get stuck with that poison. All right, so that was uh, his. Now again, expert combatant gives Driz two attacks. So the flask of oil was his first attack, and with that he managed to take out. Goblin Archer, so we'll knock off the garb Goblin Archer, and now, so his second attack, he's going to attack Artemis with his, uh, can't use Twinkle, and I think there's, there's no need to save this any longer, so I'm going to use Twin Strike, attack one adjacent monster, then attack one adjacent monster, hmm, I wonder, with this being, you know what, I'm going to save this one more turn, um, you know what? I'm going to use it. So attack one adjacent monster. Then So I think I can attack Artemis twice with this one. Because it doesn't say it has to be a different adjacent monster. And there are cards that specify, that will specifically say attack one adjacent monster and then attack a different adjacent monster. That doesn't say different, so I think I can attack Artemis twice. And we'll hit him. We'll do at least two damage to him. Even if we miss, because if we miss, we do one damage. All right, so twin strike, attack number one is a 12, and 12 and 6 is 18, so that's going to hit Artemis. So Artemis now has uh, an additional two on him, so one, two. So he has three points left. Now attack number two of the twin strike. 
And let me go ahead and flip this over now because I don't forget. So it's a plus six. And it's a three, so that's not going to hit. But we, but luckily, even though we missed, we hit. However that works. And this time it works in our favor. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We have two points left, two hit points left. All right, so Drizzed has not moved. And it might actually be wise of us to go ahead and move. We might actually, yeah, I probably want to start moving Driz towards Brunner. So let me go ahead and do that. So we'll now use our movement. And Driz can move up to nine. Um, okay, so Driz is going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's going to move all the way over here. All right, so that's Drizzt movement, and we're not going to explore because we don't want to bring out any new monsters. Um, no tile, no new monster. He's no longer poisoned. I forgot to write it on here anyway. And we have an encounter, and then Artemis will activate. I think we can cancel one encounter at this point. Yeah, we can cancel one more encounter, so let's, if it's a bad one, we're definitely canceling it lost. Without looking at it, take the bottom tile from the dungeon tile stack and place it on top. We will definitely do that because we're not exploring anymore, so we don't care. So the bottom one is actually that one. So that goes on top, and then that's our new bottom tile. So that's done. Now Artemis activates, and he's no longer close enough so he's just going to move closer to us so I think we've got this um, we technically still have two healing surges left we started with two and then when Driss got that one card he got another healing surge so if you use one we technically have two left okay so that's it for Artemis' turn uh, or rather that's the end of the villain phase so now Brunner will get to go. I guess I actually probably didn't make a lot of sense to move Drizzt all the way up here, but that's the way I did it. So... Alright, so Brunner's going to move. Um, he's going to move his speed of 5, so he's going to go... Uh, he can move through Dritz, so he's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. He's going to move all the way over here. So, Brunner moved, did not attack, does not get treasure, is not exploring, will not get a tile, will not get a monster, and we will have an encounter, and then Artemis will activate. All right, so let's see what kind of encounter we get. Overrun. Each hero takes damage equal to the number of monsters he or she controls. Okay, uh, technically, we don't control any monsters. We only control a villain, but I'm assuming for the sake of this card that the villain counts as a monster. I don't know the ruling on that. Um, I don't know. I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to say... I'm going to put three up here just to indicate to myself that Brunner took one point of damage because of the villain, which is, but it does say monster, but I think, I think somewhere in the rules it specifies that the villain also counts as a monster, but I'm not positive on that. And then we'll indicate here that Driz took a point as well, because he also controls Artemis. That's, that's an ambiguous card. I would cancel it, except I feel like there's worse ones. So that's how we're going to play it. So that's our encounter. Now Artemis activates, and all he's going to do is move, because um, he is... he He's more than one tile away, so he's going to move up here. All right, and that's going to be the end of turn number eight.